I'm Brittany. And I'm Brad. And we are Audio Shelf. Before we start, make sure to click that red button down below to subscribe to our channel. And also down below, you can find the link to join our Patreon community if you so choose to. Ooh, what's that mean? That means that you can become a patron member. Ooh. That's about all I got. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm so excited about today. We are going to be doing this episode that just came to our brains. Because it is Halloween season, it is spooky season. It's spooky time. And we are excited to pee our pants. We're so excited to pee your pants. When have you been more excited to pee your pants than at Halloween time? Who doesn't love to pee their pants? I love peeing my pants. That's... We're going to be choosing books that scare us so much that we had to pee our pants because of the fear. We just had to. We couldn't make it to a bathroom at all because, you know, we're reading a book in our house. We had to pee our pants right on our couch. Yes. We love scary books, and what we're going to do today is we're going to go back and forth and talk about three books each that the other have, has chosen that we don't know by surprise, and we're going to talk about what scary books we love. Yes. So do you want to go first? Yes, please. Okay. So the first one is written by Blake Crouch for me. It's called Pines. It's a series. The second one is Wayward, and the third one is The Last Town. Ooh. So I've only read the first one, Pines, uh -huh. and I loved it. So the book starts off with the character who wakes up in this creepy, eerie town that no one, it's like Stepford Wives kind of situation. And he's trying to figure out the secrets of the town. He's trying to figure out where he's at and no one tells him anything. No one gives anything away. Ooh. And you learn that he is working for the, for this government FBI kind of co-op situation. There's like monsters and there's like the town is like blocked off and isolated and people are, are it's like sock home syndrome. Ooh. It's a crazy book and it's very eerie, very creepy. And I was scared throughout the whole th entire thing. So I was like peeing my pants. So what was the ultimate pee part? Probably the very end when the monsters came out and he was like running and I just remember him trying to break out of the town. I also was creeped out by the people. The people were very eerie. There was like, you know, there's weird children that just like stare all at you and look at you. There was a lot of that happening. And all the people were like, oh no, there's no secrets here. Like their eyes were all big. You can imagine that. And so you're like, where am I? Very Stepford White. Very. Ooh. It was very creepy and I loved it. Well. My first book is In a Dark, Dark Wood by Ruth Ware. Ooh, we love a good Ruth Ware. We love Ruth Ware. And we also listened to the audiobook version of this. So it was like ultimate pee pants because you had Imogen Church doing her best narration of scary stuff. It was just really good. So In a Dark, Dark Wood is basically about a group of women who are... Uh, long-term friends but some of the friends have fallen out with each other but they come together for a bachelorette party mm. weekend in a dark dark wood mm. and there's chaos there's craziness there's darkness there's people that are a little bit too attached to their friendships um but it, it all culminates in one big creepy twist that you just don't see coming mm. it's just really weird i feel like i'm not doing it justice by describing mm -hmm. it you need to just go read it but did you pee your pants oh i peed my pants multiple times mainly because the one friend is so freaking creepy i was just beside myself like yeah there was like stalker tendencies in stage this. five clinger stage five clinger and they were making the other person feel crazy and mm. that is one of the things that just makes me pee my pants a lot is when there's the gaslighting. Yes. Because you can see it's happening and you're getting so frustrated by it mm -hmm. that you're just like, oh, it's so annoying. Yeah. So this was like a trickling pee in. It was, yeah, it was a little trickling pee. See, Pines was like a burst. Yeah. With monsters and yes. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, my water broke. <laughs> Change my pants. <laughs> yeah. Uh. So In a Dark, Dark Wood is definitely one that it's a slow... Burn. Mm -hmm. That's not good when you're peeing. But no. oh, go get God. it checked out. Go get it checked out. Call your doctor. Call your doctor today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So my second book is Bird Bot. Oh. <laughs> Bird Bot. <laughs> Bird Box, written Ooh. by Josh Mallerman. And I am obsessed. So the Netflix show or movie came out, and I thought it was a good adaptation, but I really enjoyed the book more. So if you don't know, Bird Box is about, it's like an apocalypse kind of feel 
where people, if they see a scary image, they lose their sight and then they also die and become like crazy. Mm -hmm. And the book follows a woman who's wearing a blindfold and she's trying to keep herself and a group of people safe, especially some kids safe throughout this journey and it's just very creepy and scary and eerie and I peed my pants. Was it a whole time pee pants or was it like moments pee? It was moments because sometimes you're trying to, you know, you're hearing the story, you're understanding why the world is the way it is. But then there was other times where it was like creepy and people were like, oh no, don't, don't, don't open your eyes, don't open your eyes. And I'm like, don't open your eyes. And then you close your own eyes. While I'm closing my eyes, my pee is coming. <laughs> oh, people are going to turn us off because they're like, I don't care about your pee. <laughs> it was just really scary. And I loved it. It was it was short. And it was that's, just a that's really... That's what is important. Is yes. That it's short. Because yes. some books get a little long for the Halloween mm-hmm. season. and It was just a ones. great read for the spooky season. Mm-hmm. I would pick it up. Mm, yes. So my second book is one that... I don't think Brad has read just because of the subject matter, but I read it before we had Audio Shelf, before we were even thinking about Mm -hmm. doing a book, anything. Um, It's Alice in Zombieland by Gina Showalter. So this book is one of the first horror books that I read that had anything to do with scary subject matter. And it honestly crept me out. Crept me out. Crept me out creeped me out so much like I could not read it during the nighttime at all I couldn't read it before bed because it would just induce nightmares into me it was really spooky and yeah it has to do with (laughs) zombies so the fact that zombies aren't really a genre that we mesh too much with now is really funny because I picked up my first book with a zombie didn't have anything to do with Alice in Wonderland so I'm trying to remember because it was a long time ago, but basically what happens is uh, zombies start uh, striking this town. This girl um, has to get rescued and I believe she goes down a a rabbit hole-esque type thing oh, in order to like fight the zombies. Like her grandparents and parents die from zombies. Yes. And um, it's a very spooky book. The thing... I can't remember much of the description, but all I can remember is the feeling that Mm -hmm. it gave me after I was finished reading it. And I wanted to continue the series because it is a series, but I just haven't gotten around to it yet. But that first book was like, oh, it was good. There was like this wave of books that came out that took literary classics and turned them into zombies. Yeah. It was like the Pride and Prejudice one. Yeah. They had the, um, they even had like Abraham Lincoln, his story oh, yeah. that Abraham was a zombie. Abraham Lincoln and zombies. Yeah. I can't say that this was like too much of like Alice in Wonderland mm. going into zombies. Okay, all right. But it was just the idea that there was this young girl, it's young adult, um, She's fighting different things. She's going into a different like kind of world, but it's not so much like, at least from what I remember, it's not like there's a Mad Hatter Mm. and um, Mm -hmm. I can't remember much of it, but she's just fighting and a badass and I really liked it. Yeah. And you peed your pants. I peed my pants many a time, (laughs) actually, (laughs) during that book. Uh, So my third book, I'm very excited to talk about this one because this one legit made me pee my pants. So it is called The Butterfly Garden. Shut up! <laughs> That's my third book. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> the Butterfly Garden. The Butterfly Garden, yes. <laughs> yes. By Dot Hutcherson? Yes. Hutchinson? Oh my goodness. Well. Well, narrated we, by Lauren Ezzo. Oh my God, Lauren Ezzo. Well, it was a joint pee then. It was a jo- <laughs> Our pee came together. We peed together. Oh, this video is a problem. <laughs> <laughs> so the butterfly garden is about this serial killer who basically, <laughs> do you want to explain it? No, please. <laughs> I'm bad with describing. <laughs> so it was about a serial killer who basically collects these women. Yeah. And has a garden of them, mm-hmm. buries them, does tortures them. There was you know, some warning trigger signs, there was some rape. And so it was a very disturbing book that left me with my jaw wide open and my pants soaked. Yeah, it was 
very, very disturbing. Disturbing is the perfect word for that book mm -hmm. because it just throws you into this world. It's told from two different perspectives. One is from the main girl who gets, um, no spoilers, but she's in the hospital after escaping and she's being interviewed by a police detective. So mm -hmm. you have these two voices in the audio book, at least, and yes. in, in the book, um, where they're both describing this situation. And the girl, you go back to flashbacks as she's describing what happened to her, and it is just eerie. It's mm -hmm. very descriptive and... You can visualize everything happening. You can see it actually happening. And I feel like some of it does happen in today's like mm -hmm. society with like young girls and human trafficking stuff. And it was just disturbing. It, it was like a Criminal Minds episode. Yeah. Playing out in book form. Times a thousand. Yes. And it was, it was very scary. Mm -hmm. It was very creepy, I would say. Well, since I took your third one, do you have an honorable mention at least? I have an honorable mention. I was so scared because of how bad it was. Oh. <laughs> I peed my pants because I didn't want to be reading it anymore. Oh no. The favorite sister. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we always we always bash this book. I'm sorry, Jessica. Your first one was good. <laughs> the first one was really good, but uh. like this one. What? Your Brett Michaels bandanas. Oh, crap. It's crossing. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Do not cross this crime scene. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that one was one that we thought was going to be really kind of creepy, kind of thrillery, just take us by surprise because mm -hmm. it deals with our favorite thing, reality TV shows. Yes. But it was such a big letdown. It was a disappointment. It, it was just... It tried a twist, the twist didn't work. It tried another twist, mm -hmm. that twist was dumb. And basically, mm -mm. it was not a good one, not nope. a good one. No pee and pants all. there. Nope, but I was scared mm -hmm. because of how much hope was let down. Yes. So that was a good list. I think so. I feel like we went through like several pants. Yes, yes, we have to have a whole new wardrobe now. We're going to Kohl's. Mm -hmm. I'm also going to my doctor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So if you have read any books that have scared you so bad that you peed your pants this Halloween season, please let us know your pee pee pants down below. Yes. We're interested. Mm-hmm. Depend on us for these book recommendations. <laughs> And if you have read any of these books, please let us know what your thoughts were, if you agreed or disagreed with our very sensitive bladders. Mm -hmm. Um or if you have any suggestions for what we should listen to next. We want to jump into more horror, actually. Yes, we were going through our Goodreads. We are like, we need more horror. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so please leave comments down below. And also, if you want to follow along with us, you can find us on Twitter at Audio Shelf Me, Instagram at Audio Shelf Me, and Facebook at Audio Shelf. Ah! Sorry, I just felt like screaming. So before we end this video, make sure to hit that red button to subscribe. Yes. Please. And if you want to become a patron member of ours, you can also find that down below as you're subscribing. Yes. So until next time. Bye. Bye. I just peed my pants. <laughs>